I've got Patrick joining us today. So, happy first day of May. We are going to start with our hip flexor release on the floor. So, roll onto your belly. Perfect. Okay, raise your left leg. A hold. Two, three, four, five, six, and down. Same leg. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, and down. Same leg. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, and down. One more time. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, and down. Switch legs. Up. Two, three, four, five, six, and down. Up, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Up, two, three, four, five, six, and down. One more time. Up, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Great job. I've got to go ahead and roll on your back. Perfect. Okay, you're going to bring up that knee. Whichever knee first and pull it across your chest. Try to keep those shoulders down on that mat and hold. Hold. And release. Let's do that a couple more times on that side and we'll switch sides. Good job. Bring all the way over. Try to keep those shoulders flat on the mat. Awesome. Good. And release. Good. So again, that one more time on that side, and then we'll switch sides. All right, switch sides. Other side, hold. Try and keep those shoulders flat on the mat. Good job. And relax, good. Two more times on that side. Good, try and keep the shoulders flat on the mat, good. Good job. Good job, come back over. And one more time. Patrick doesn't know what he's in for today. <laughs> Payback. All right, off the mat. First thing we're gonna do is start with our 10 jumping jacks. Get that heart rate moving. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, straight into our gate swings. Good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good. Next are steel jacks. Ten of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Next are pogo hops. Ten of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Squats. Ten squats. Deep squats. Perfect form. Good. Ten squats. Patrick has perfect form. His breathing is perfect. Good. Good. We're going to go straight into our side lunges. Ten on each side. Trying to this. <laughs> Good. Well, here we go. Good. Ten on each side. Big step out. Good. Perfect. Perfect form. And one on each side. Good. Great job. 
Good. Next thing we're going to do after we do 10 on each side is going to be our alternating hinge. Okay, so we're going to do 10 on each side. Just come all the way over and back up. Perfect. Good. Over and up. Good. Keep that back nice and straight. Perfect. Good. We don't have to get fast on these. Patrick has perfect speed. Good. Reach that back leg towards that back wall. And hinge. Perfect. Good. Just to get your blood flowing. <laughs> nice and early. Good. Reach and up. Perfect. Perfect form. Back's nice and straight. Good. Good. Next step for this, just get your mind thinking. We're going to do our step back and reach. Good. Big step back. Big step back and reach. Big step back and reach. Good. Do five on each side. Good. Big step back. Reach, reach, reach. Good. Concentrate, not arch your neck back too much. Perfect form. Very good. Nice and slow. Great job. All right, we have two more in our warm up, then we're gonna get started. Although this feels like that's your side. All right, we're gonna do Frankenstein's in place. Or if we got room, you can move with it at home. So you should do 10 total, five on each side. Good. Perfect. Good. Key here is to make sure you're not leaning over too much. You can't touch your toes. Not a problem. All right, last one is a standing quad stretch. Stretch up those quads. Do five on each side. Good. Same thing at home. If you've got room to travel, feel free to travel with it. If not, you can stay in place. So everything we're about to do, you can use a weight or you don't have to use a weight. You can use stuff around the house. You can use water bottles. You can use detergent, anything with a handle. Um, so the first one we're going to do is if you have an ottoman, a sofa, an end table, whatever at home, something to prop your back foot on, um, you can use a weight with this one, but you really don't have to to get the benefit. So we're going to do a Bulgarian hinge to squat, okay? So Patrick's going to demonstrate, you're going to hinge over, and then you're going to come up. You're going to go straight down that squat. That is perfect form, perfect. So once again, this month we're focusing on reps, not time. So Patrick, give me 12 of those on each side. Perfect. And see how nice and deep Patrick's coming down with that leg and he hinges. He's Really focusing on hinging over. Good. And you can, like I said, use anything you want at home to prop that back foot on. Good. And you should start feeling a burn pretty quick with this one. Good. And at home, if you've got weights, you can use dumbbells if you want. You can use water bottles um, to make it more challenging, but you really don't need the weights for this one. Good job. Perfect form, perfect form. Good. See how when he's hinging over, he's really, he's hinging, and he's not bending? Perfect. Check it out, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Good job. So we've got 12 on the other side, and you will notice there's gonna be one side that's a little bit easier to balance on than the other. Perfect. Great. Great job. Hinge forward. So 12 is a great starting number. Like I said, feel free to add weights at home if you want, water bottles. You can, like Patrick, these paint cans over there, that's a fantastic idea. If you've got this in your garage or basement, um, those will come in handy here for sure. Good. Perfect form, perfect form. It's probably starting to warm up just a little bit. <laughs> Good. 
So we're gonna go through all these exercises today twice. Good. And once again, they're all for reps, not for time. So we take our time, we're not rushing through them. Perfect. Good. He's doing a great job keeping that foot flat on the floor. <laughs> is going to be our walking plank. So you're gonna start up high in your plank position. Perfect, up nice and high. And you're gonna come down on your elbow, down on your other elbow, up on your hand, up on your other hand. And you're gonna change your lead arm each time. You're gonna alternate, so it's gonna make your brain think. So we're gonna do 12 of these total. So six right, with each arm leading. And see how Patrick's back is nice and flat, his hips are not rocking. That's exactly what we want. Good. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So that's the walking plank. Perfect. So we're going to do um, 12 to 6 on each side of those. So next, after that, we're going to do our standing windmill. So we're going to do that on the plank. And at home, if you want to use a weight, you can use a weight. Once again, or a water bottle, you don't have to. You're going to bring that arm up. You're going to reach and really kick that opposite hip out, okay? So you should really feel this and come over perfect. So do 12 of those on each side. So that's two, perfect, and three. Perfect job. Make sure you want to keep that hip going towards that back wall. Patrick's doing it perfectly. Good job. 12 of these on each side, and he's out of the weight. He's losing the weight. <laughs> he's losing the weight. <laughs> so see, it's just as challenging, and he's still feeling that motion. Good. Good, good, good. Perfect. So 12 on each side. You can just use a water bottle out of the refrigerator for this one, just to give yourself just a little bit of resistance if you want. But, Probably still feeling it without it. Perfect. And see, we're not going fast. We're nice and slow, getting the good quality reps. Good. Good. All right, other side, same thing. Reach really high towards that ceiling. Good. Perfect. Making sure you kick that hip out towards that wall. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. His knees are perfect, his feet are perfect. I'll show you his feet just a little bit more. There you go. There, see his feet are perfect, how they're lined up. Not too far apart, not too close together. You want them a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. That is perfect for him. It's probably burning. Good. Very good. Good job. Really challenge yourself at home when you do this. Don't rush through them. Good. How's it feel? He's, Patrick's glistening, guys, in case you want to know he's glistening. He's glowing. Patrick's glowing. That's good, because I wasn't glowing. I was sweating the other day. <laughs> All right, the next one, we're going to do a um, single arm row, OK? So in home. Same thing, you can use, you can use a kettlebell if you don't have you can use a dumbbell, you can use a paint can, you can use um, like a detergent that has a handle on it. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna grow and come up. You're really gonna squeeze that shoulder blade and come back down. Magic number today is 12. So Patrick's got the kettlebell, perfect. Nice and slow, good, squeeze that shoulder blade at the top. Squeeze, 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 good. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm sure all of our shoulder blades are super tight. This really helps get that moving. Good. 12 on each side. Good. Very good. Great job. Good. See, so his form is perfect, back nice and straight. He's really focused on squeezing that shoulder blade when he comes back. 
Perfect. Great job. All right. The next one we're going to do, and at home, you guys are going to want to use like a table. I know when I do these at home, I hold on to, um, we have a bike at home, and I hold on to the bike handles. But what we're going to do is we're doing reverse crunches. We're just going, we're not going to, you can add a twist at home, but for today's purposes, we're just going to hold on, grab on the back, and bend those knees. Good. Perfect. We're going to hold on to the handle, so table at home. We're just going to come bring those knees up. Perfect. And back down. Turn them up and down. Great job. So we're going to do 10 to 12 at home. Let's aim for 12. Perfect. If you want to get fancy, you can always add a twist side to side. But for today's purposes, we're just going straight back and down. Perfect. Good. Good. And Patrick's super, super flexible and in shape. So he was bringing his legs straight out. At home, you can keep those legs bent and just tap down with those knees with your legs still bent and come back up. Um, if that makes it easier. But he's advanced, so keep that in mind. Here's the good news. We've got one more exercise where we get a water break. Good news. <laughs> good news. All right, so this one we're doing the single arm overhead carry. The so same thing at home, whatever you've got, feel free to use it. The key here is keeping that arm really close to your side as you walk, okay? Keeping that belly nice and tight, pelvis tucked under. So we're going to walk down and back three times. Yeah, walk towards the computer. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. See how he's keeping the, that weight nice and close? Good. It's nice and close to his head, to his ear. He's keeping his, his back nice and straight. So at home, if you've got more room to walk, um, three times down and back. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. Same thing. This is a great place to use your water bottle at home. Um, weight, whatever you've got. So we're doing three times on each side. So we're going to switch and do the other side. Good. Perfect. Perfect. See how Patrick's holding his arm really close. You know, think about tucking that shoulder down in that back pocket when you're walking around. It's perfect. Great job. Good. Great form. All right. Everybody go get some water. Water break, water break. So today we did six different exercises. Um, as you can see, went through it kind of quick, but this next time we're gonna take our time, we're gonna do a little bit slower reps just to make sure we're getting the good quality reps in. Um, but really, you don't have to have the weights at home. As I mentioned, if you have them, great. But everybody's got something around their house they can use if they want to add um, more weight and challenge themselves. So, how's that, Patrick? <laughs> like I said, Patrick is glowing. <laughs> but to, hey, it is warm in here. So, and we're keeping our six feet apart. We're doing our social distance thing. So, keep that in mind. So, it looks like Patrick's ready for round two. So, good news is we're only doing these twice. I know we have some friends out there that like to do these three times. If you want to go back and watch this and do it a third time on your own at home, feel free to do that. Okay, so the first one we're starting with is our Bulgarian hinge to squat. And this is where you're going to want to make sure at home that we have an ottoman, an end table, a bench, something to prop that back foot on. Perfect. So Patrick, give me 12 of that. See how he's hinging that over, he's keeping that back nice and flat when he comes over, he's not rounding. Perfect form. He's going into that nice deep squat. Perfect, perfect. He's making sure that his knee and the hips are all in good alignment. It's perfect form. And this should not just hurt your knees at all. Okay, so this should not hurt your knees at all. I know we hear that a lot in a lot of these exercises. People's knees hurt, their hips hurt. None of these should bother your knees or your hips, okay? You don't have to go down as far as Patrick's going in that squat if you can, okay? Perfect, perfect, perfect. If anything, this should help get you more mobile and moving. Good, excellent. 
See how he's coming down all nice and deep? Perfect. Shake it out. Hey, the good news is, so last time I had to do this today. Good. I know, this counts as your workout, right? <laughs> good. So 12 on the side. Good. And then inch. Perfect. Good. Perfect. We focus on pushing those hips back in that back wall. Wherever you are at home, make sure you're doing the same thing. Patrick's really, really good at breathing. As bad as it sounds, I'm not a good breather. <laughs> but he's really good when he's exercising. He's really focusing on his breathing. Perfect. Good. Like I said, you're welcome to add. If you've got dumbbells at home, you can add dumbbells in each hand. If you want, you don't have to. Good. Perfect, perfect. Great job. And hinge. And squat. Perfect. So you should feel some burning going on about now. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Go ahead and get your mats. And we're going to do a walking plank next. So remember, we're switching our lead arm each time. So we're going to go, we're doing a total of 12. We're going to do six on one side and six on the other, but we're going to alternate each time. So you're going to start your nice high plank. Good. Nice. And then we're going to come down on your elbow, down on your elbow, up, up. Now switch your lead arm. Perfect. Last two. Good. Make sure brain think. <laughs> you're having to switch each time. Keep those hips nice and straight. Keep that nice plank. Perfect form. Good. And keep everything nice and tight when you come up. This Ooh. is the challenge. That's hard, guys. That one's really hard. The walking plank is super, super hard. So at home, Patrick just demonstrated for a baby at home. Try and do 12 of those. Just switch up your lead, your lead hand each time. Okay. The next one. We are standing windmill. So you can do a weight without a weight. You can do you can do a water bottle. You can do whatever you want. Just make sure you reach that hip and come up. Good. So twelve of those on each side. Perfect form. See Patrick's legs are all their perfect length apart from each other. He's doing great. We focus on reaching that hand all the way down to that. Good. And up. Perfect. Perfect. And this one does not require heavy weight, as I said before. You know, five pound dumbbell, eight pound dumbbell, water bottle, anything you have at home, that's going to be just as much of a challenge. Good, so we're doing 12 of these on each side. Good. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Great job. Good job pushing that hip into that wall. Good. Perfect, perfect. Good. We should feel really good. Getting some blood flow going, lower body. Great job. Good. Good job. Good. Just to get you guys thinking, the next thing we're going to be doing is the single arm row. Um, same thing, if you've got a weight, Patrick had a really good idea the other day with the yoga block. So it's a great thing that you've got to really focus on how you're holding it. So the key is just really make sure you squeeze that shoulder blade when you come back. Squeeze and down. Nice and slow, 12 on each side. And we are doing a kettlebell, but keep in mind at home, Patrick's paint can idea is a great place to use this. Laundry detergent, dishwashing detergent, anything that's got a handle. Bar barbells, dumbbells at home you've got, they're great. Good. Good. So same thing here, the magic number today, as I mentioned, is 12. Good. 12 on each side. Good. Over and squeeze that shoulder blade. Good. Perfect, perfect. 
Great job. And squeeze, and then come back. And he's not using heavy weight. Not for Patrick. I mean, that's 20 pounds. Patrick, I'm sure, can do what? 40, 45, 50 normally. So that's probably really, really light for him. Good. Perfect. All right. The fun one. The fun one. This one gets me every time. So reverse crunches, same thing at home. Find something to hold on to with your back hand, seeing class behind you. Um, we do have the bench here, so we're lucky. As I mentioned, I've got a bike at home, uh, so the Peloton comes in handy for something. I get to hold on to it. So do 12 of those and come straight back at those knees. This time, touch down your toes. Good. So he's touching down, so you can see what that one looks like. Perfect. But he's more advanced, as I mentioned, he's coming straight out with his legs. But perfect. And there's a lot of variations we can add to this to make it more difficult. As I mentioned, we can add it into the side, side to side crunches. Um, but coming straight back and down. Good. Back and down. Good. He's got it. 12 of these is about all. You're going to want to do, right? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I don't think I can miss it anymore. Yep. Okay. Guess what? We got one more and then we're done. So this is going to be our um, one arm carry. The key is you want to keep that arm really close to your ear, nice and straight. And we're going to walk. You go three times. Good. Good. Perfect form. I know Patrick feels ridiculous because he's just kind of making a circle here to just show, demonstrate for you guys. But at home, you know, feel free um, to walk around. If you're in a basement, to a garage, wherever you are, walk around like three times, holding it. Good. And you're going to switch. Good. You want the key is you want to keep that arm really straight. Keep it by your ear. Good. Keep everything nice and tucked in. And this is a challenge. This kind of this complements what Patrick had me do the other day, which was the farmer's care with paint cans. This is a nice complement to that. Perfect. Perfect. How you feeling? Oh man. You worn out? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, good. We got mobility. That's a good part. First one is going to be the hip opener. That really big D. One, get the twist, where you stretch, okay? So you come down as low as you can. Good, and then twist, bring that arm up, and twist, good. So just do five of those on each side. Big twist, big yeah, turn. Yeah, come up. Come right up, uh-huh. Try and hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, hold on, gotcha. Hold it, big stretch, and come down, <laughs> good, good. Good. So we're gonna do five of those for time's sake today. But we can hold them a little bit longer. Um, good. Stretch, big stretch, and come up. Good. <clears throat> good. While Patrick's doing that, I'm gonna go grab his mat. The next one, one of our favorites we do all the time is going to be our um, windmill. I don't think anybody can do this one enough. I know I can't because I still can't get my shoulders flat on the floor when I do this. So we do our windmill. Line down. And bring one arm and bend your knee or lay down. Perfect. Good. Go, go, go. Yep. We can see you now. There you go. Come all the way across. So, and see how Patrick's putting his hand on his knee? That's a great way to keep those knees from moving. Good. So we're nice and slow. We want to try and keep those shoulder blades flat, which is very hard for me to do. Good. So we're just going to do five of those on each side. Good. Great job. It definitely does help me and quite a lot of people um, put that hand on that on your leg because I'm very guilty of making my 
Legs wide open flex. Good. Perfect. Great job. Nice cool down. And one more, guys. Good. Good. Good job. All right, I'll pack the expansion that. We appreciate you guys tuning in. And we hope y'all have a great weekend. And say bye, Patrick. Bye. And we'll see you on Monday. See you I'm afraid. <laughs>